Have you ever dreamed of mining some coins that seemed unminable unless you had a specialized piece of hardware such as an ASIC miner or a high-end GPU? Well, today I'm going to be exploring and discussing in detail a pool and website called Unminable, which allows you to mine a lot of these unminable coins. Stay tuned. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is you need to go to the website called unminable.com. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Here, basically, you can find all the information where you can mine different coins. So if you press uh, the coin symbol up here, you can change to any of these coins and any of these coins on this list are mineable. They, you can mine them by either your CPU or your graphics card that might not be uh, more than six gigabytes in VRAM. It could be maybe a three gigabyte VRAM card, which is a bit older and it's still good for mining, but obviously you can't mine Ethereum on it because you need more than uh, six gigabytes of VRAM in order to mine Ethereum at the moment. So this site, Unminable, gives you the opportunity to mine all of these uh, coins even with older hardware even with just your CPU mind you it will not work obviously on all video cards I have a GTX 670 in this system and uh, it's not detected by the miners but that is not the fault of unminable it is because the miner does not support it but you could try and play around with some commands and maybe get that to work as well I, I have not managed to get my GTX 670 to mine Having said that though, you can still mine with your GPU. So for example, I was mining Dogecoin. So if we just go and click search for Dodge and go to Dogecoin, it gives you the option here uh, to either mine with your GPU on ETH, which is Ethereum. Um, so if you have a good enough video card with, with a, v a minimum VRAM of six gigabytes, you can mine ETH, which is currently still the most profitable um, algorithm at the time of this video. Or if you don't have a video card which can mine ETH Ethereum, you can try Ethereum Classic. So technically what this site is doing, it's going to mine Ethereum or it's going to mine Ethereum Classic. Or if you want to use Kapow algorithm, that's going to mine Ravencoin. Or if you want to use your CPU, you can use, uh, it will mine uh, using your CPU. It's going to mine RandomX, which is Monero. So it's going to mine alternate coins. It's going to mine not Dogecoin directly. It's going to mine one of these coins. And then you'll get paid out the equivalence of the value at the time of mining in whatever coin you selected, Dogecoin, AAVE, whatever you want to mine. So there's there's BitTorrent as well. There, there are loads, loads of coins that you can select from this list here and then just uh, mine away. So as soon as you select a coin, let's go for example for AAVE, here it's going to give you the instructions of what you need to do. So obviously you will need to download the compatible miner uh, for your either video card and for your CPU, it's going to be XMR rig. And then you just have to follow the instructions according to what algorithm you're going to mine on here. Now, on this PC, I am mining on my CPU because I can't mine uh, on my video card. So that's fine, but you're still going to get this coin and you don't have to pay for it outright on an exchange, for example, to buy the coin. So you can still make some of these coins even with just your CPU. So I think that unminable have really done a great job here in order to let everyone mine all of these coins and they're adding coins every month. Uh, they've just added one uh, a day ago, or two days ago called Wink. So uh, that's also now available uh, through the Tron network as well. So it's, it's just basically really easy to do this. Just click on download. And here you'll want to download the packed version and then download the miner from GitHub um, and that will that will be fine as well. The important thing is that you'll place them in the same folder which I will be showing you next. So once you've download, downloaded the packed version, you'll have something that looks like this, which is the EXE that you'll need to run. 
Okay, go to GitHub then and download the um, the the Phoenix miner if you're going to mine on a GPU or if you're going to be mining on a CPU. Just go to GitHub as well and download XMR Rig, and I'll be putting a link for all of these latest versions below. XM Rig has just released a new version 18 hours ago, so I might be trying that out as well. The only change really is uh, fix Zen 3 assembly code for Kryptonite UPX2 algorithm. So if you're not really mining on that algorithm, um, it's not going to make much of a difference. So in this case, we'd be mining random X, so it's not going to really make much of a difference if you have the previous versions. But make sure that you're up to scratch with the versions on these because they can potentially make a difference to your performance and to your hash rate as well. Another thing that you will need to do is you will need to have a wallet. You will need to have either a wallet on an exchange or an offline wallet on your PC. And that wallet for the coin you're going to be mining, be it AAVE or be it Dogecoin, which I was mining uh, this week and I am still mining even though the price has gone down and I'll be sharing another video on that after the full week has passed. On Monday at the latest, I'll be sharing a video on my profits on that as well. So you can see what I've, uh, I've made in that uh, profit wise and what my hash rates were um uh, because i literally just put my entire rig on dogecoin when it was uh more profitable now today it seems to have gone up again so seems interesting uh just to keep keep uh mining it the last day or two and then i'll switch back maybe to ethereum or maybe to another coin like wink and give that a shot as well so unminable gives you all these opportunities to try these different coins which is great so um, once you've downloaded that and you've downloaded your uh, miners here, I don't have Phoenix Miner because again, I can't mine on my GPU. XM Rig is here. I've got version uh, 6.62, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's still going to work anyway for, for this algorithm. Um, you're going to want to run Unminable as administrator. The important thing is that you always whitelist these. I've got whitelists on my antivirus and Windows Defender here to exclude my mining folder so it's not caught as a virus. So uh, here we're just going to run as administrator and Unminable will open up a GUI here. And this is where you begin. Mine's already configured, so it's already started mining. Um, so I'm just going to go back here to show you the steps from the very beginning. So once you open this up, uh, give you the option to either mine with your GPU or with your CPU. So if you're going to mine with your GPU, you'll have to point it to your miner. And here when it says Phoenix Miner 5.3b or earlier, earlier means kind of a, a later version, a more recent version. So it's either 5.3b or more recent. Okay, so here you're going to locate your miner. So I'm just going to go and find Phoenix Miner. This is just to demonstrate because I'm not going to be mining on the GPU, but just to show you what you need to do. 5.5c is the latest version. Scroll down and just find phoenix.exe, phoenixminer.exe and open that up and that will populate that there. Then just click on next and you'll have to select whichever coin you're going to mine and then enter the address that you get from your exchange or your offline wallet in order to mine to that address. Now here, if you have a referral code, you can click this button here. I've, I've inputted my friend's referral code here and that will lower your pool mining fee from 1% to 0.75%. If you want, I'll put my my uh, my referral code down in the link below and you can add that there and you'll get a 0.25% reduction on the pool rate when mining. OK, now, if you also add that um, uh, add that to your code, if you're using a script, for example, and here on uh, Unminable, it tells you exactly how to do that right here. Dodge, for example, your address, your worker name. And it just says that after your worker name, you can just do the hash symbol and do that referral code. If you do that as well, passively, the person will also be earning 0.25% uh, 
of whatever you are mining. It won't be reduced from your amount, it will be passively be given to the person by the pool, um, kind of as a bonus really. So as an, as an incentive as well to keep mining. So um, that's really great as well. And now I'm going to show you the mining with my CPU. So I'm just gonna go back, just go update miner file location. Here I've already entered my uh, miner location for XMR rig, which I had earlier already. So XMR rig is here. You just go into the folder. Actually, I'm using 6.11.2. XMR rig.exe, select that, click next, enter your address, the referral codes, click start. And that's pretty much it. So it's just a few clicks and it'll start mining. Now, if you want to mine on both a GPU and a CPU, what I would recommend is to use batch files. So you can use a batch file and you can create all of this in a batch file. So here it tells you exactly what you need to do. So let's say, for example, I'm mining on a CPU. It tells you what to put into your batch file right here. Just copy that in put your address, your worker name. It's really clear on the site itself, so you can follow that. But if you do have issues, if you do have problems, hit me down in the comment section below and I will do my very best to answer your questions. If I don't know the answer myself, I will go away and try to find the answer and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I do try and reply to all of your comments, so please do comment and I'll try to help you out. So that's pretty much it. I am currently using an i7, um, an i7-5820K CPU, which is on an X99 chipset. So I'm just using the CPU here, just to give you an overview of what I've got here. I've got six cores with 12 threads. It's currently using 62%, around 62% of the CPU, so it can allow uh, more resources for Windows and other tasks that you're doing. And I'm averaging, once this stabilized, that will go up to a maximum of around 3,300 hash, okay? Another important setting that you need to make sure is that here you've got a little gear on Unminable. If you click that gear, make sure that your mining intensity is set to either high or low. If you're going to be doing some CPU tasks that require high resource allocation from the CPU, then leave it as low. It is by default set as low. So make sure that if you want to get the most out of this, and this is gonna be used as your mining rig, and you're just gonna mine on your CPU, for example, or just mine on your video cards, just go and click on high, okay? Here you can set a custom worker name, mine set as Teco Guy Dodge at the moment, Enter your referral code right there, although that was done in the beginning, so it will be auto-populated. And here you can select if you want to start mining on App Start, or if you just want to switch that off and, and tell it manually when you want it to mine and not when the program starts up. I did it start mining on App Start, so if there is a power cut, the, the PC will power on, it will boot up, it will log in, it will launch this application, and it will automatically start mining right there. So that's pretty cool. Here it's still at... 2000 hashes although i am currently doing uh the the screen capture so that might slightly affect as well i did also try to do a script here which i was using as well and you can see the script right here as it says on the website with the hash and the referral code and your worker name and your address i did do it with the script just to test it out and to experiment if i were to not allow it just to use 50% of the CPU, but let's say I wanted to use 90%. Would that make a difference in hash rate? And the answer was no, it does not. So I tried to use all of the threads. I, I tried to use 11 threads. I, I tried to use 12 threads. I tried to use 10 threads. At the moment, it's just defaulting to six threads, and that's why it's at around 50 or 60% usage. But it doesn't make a difference in the hash rate. So um, it's, it's not really worth um, playing around with that, really. Um, scripts are also good because you can then mine, for example, through the GUI if you find this nice and you want to see the numbers change and you can go to the website and see the updates. So if I click on website here, it'll take you directly to the Ironminable uh, website 
and here you, it will just give you the statistics of what you're doing. I'm not just mining on my CPU, I'm also mining on my rig upstairs on ET hash, which is doing around 273 mega hash per second. Um, I'll be sharing, as I said earlier, the video on my mining profits for a whole week mining Deutschcoin. So I'll be sharing that with you on Monday. So here you go. I will put my referral code here down in the description below. If you would like to get 0.25% off, the 1% fee will be reduced to 0.75% and you'll get a cheaper mining fee right there. I hope you found this video interesting. Do smash that subscribe button, give me a like and comment down below and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. In the meantime, take care of yourself and until next time, thanks for watching.